Thank you. Did you see that? Uh, I did. Did you uh, see? Brad went and pulled the chair out for uh, Jennifer. Thank you. That's how Brad. I endear myself on a daily basis. Yeah. <laughs> he was going to pull it out. It's the only thing sweet. I've got going for me. Uh, said he was going to pull it out from under you. He probably would. <laughs> that would be what you would do. Wanted to spend a few minutes talking about something really, really important, and, and that is severe weather. Seeing as yep. what happened in the U.S. and what may happen again tonight, uh, at least 17 dead from the uh, tornadoes down in Arkansas, yep. into Mississippi and areas like that. I think a lot of people forget that we are also part of Tornado Alley in the States. It doesn't just stop at the border, right? It goes right over uh, southern Ontario. So we are prone to tornadoes, as we know from the Vaughn tornadoes in 09, from the Barry tornado. What can you do, especially when you're camping? In the city, at least we've got our cell phones, and, you know, if power goes out though we have problems and if you're out on a boat on Lake Simcoe you got a problem if there's a tornado warning how are you gonna know and this is old-school technology okay it's not sexy it doesn't look pretty a lot of people will think this is bulky this is called a weather radio okay so what it does is you buy it you pick it up it's about 40 bucks from Amazon or uh, the source you can go to the source you program this uh, if you can zoom in again we can see you set your time you can actually set your location as well uh, let me see if I can get that set the time here we go and and you, I'm trying to get to, there we go. Hold on, let me just turn it around because in the middle of the night, if you're sleeping and there's a tornado warning or you're oh. out on the boat, it will sound. Okay, let me see if I can get the sound for you. Here's the test, 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 select. Testing. Okay, it is going to test. It is going to work, but it is a This very is why you need to <laughs> test it. This is why you need that's to. That's exactly. But I think that's really your segments. That's really yeah. interesting because not yeah. not only just if you're sleeping, but if you just happen to be sitting around uh, the yeah. house, if you just are doing, you're not you're not always yeah. monitoring the you're weather conditions. The iPod, you know, no one's listening to the radio anymore. If you were listening to the radio in 680, you would know that a tornado warning came out right away. But uh, a lot of people are not, right? They're listening to iTunes. If that warning comes out, this thing will alert you, and it can save your life. And it's forty dollars. It's worth it. Yeah, my sister well, lives now. Alabama action. She's been yep. through about three tornadoes in the last five years. Uh, there it is. Imagine waking you, up to that. You don't realize how, uh, yeah. because we, we, we seem to be dissociated because we're up here, you don't understand how prevalent and how much they affect everybody's life down yep. in Alabama, down in Auburn. It's, it's, it's really devastating what they do and how crazy they mm -hmm. are. There's going to be another outbreak there today again. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, two more days worth, actually. So, And what do we do? We would go into so, the basement. Yeah, into the basement, away from windows. We always talk about um, getting to the lowest level, of course, because that wind is going to blow, blow in those windows. Yeah. Uh, if you're in a condo or an office building, you get into the hallway or the stairwell. And, of course, your cell phone may not work there as well. So the weather radio, if you have it, you take it with you. Uh, and in a car, you don't want, I mean, the car is honestly, it is not safe to be in. But if you happen to be stuck out on the highway, do not go under the under. Pass. You're going to add to traffic flow and uh, you buckle up because if that car goes flying, you don't want to go flying out of the car. So. Yeah. The best thing to do is just be forewarned. Yeah. Most tornadoes do not just come out of nowhere. Most tornadoes come out of, well, they will come out of thunderstorms. Yeah, some can. And so knowing what the weather is going to be and knowing it could produce severe weather, at yeah. least you're warned. You say, okay, what would I do if? We can usually yeah. give minutes worth of you know, warning. I should yeah. not go out on a boat on Lake Simcoe. Thank you. If there's a thunderstorm warning or even a thunderstorm watch, Common you don't go sense. out on the boat then. All right. Thank you very much. It's uh, 8.01 on breakfast.